Hello everybody. Now, I am aware that in the last video, I was very excited about the house we traded for a city lot and the roughly 3,200 square feet of that city lot to be growing food on. That was a bit of a lateral pass and remains a lateral pass from you know shifting the first church of music thing during covid and such from live music entertainment to our kind of lesser mission of growing food uh for self-reliance we've now made that the major mission and put the live music entertainment thing on a lesser pedestal for the time being right uh because self-reliance and local food structures and infrastructure for uh, feeding neighborhoods is really something we feel we need to focus on. So uh, I then left town for a couple months to work for some friends in the West Coast and I came back and uh, now I'm back and the person who I traded the lot with now wants to buy the lot back, okay? Um, and there's a lot of advantages to that. Uh, for one, um, we could pay off the investor entirely for First Church of Music and still have a little bit of pocket change left over to continue to move forward. Um, the truth is when it comes to access to property, uh, those of you around here know, those of you from not around here may not know, there's tons of acreage, unused acreage all over the place. So, you know, with a good plan, access to land, even if you don't own it, leasing it, borrowing it, trading produce for the use of it, is, is more accessible here in Port Huron, Michigan than maybe more populated areas. So uh, we don't need to necessarily own the land. That having been said, I wanna own this land I'm standing on right now. My goal by the end of 2021, whether we sell the other piece, whatever, is to own this lot. It's twice the size of the fenced in city lot and uh, actually a little bit more than twice the size. And it's right here on the 1400 block of Lapeer with tons of uh, frontage, right? And um, it's almost full sun. There's one tree in the front and one in the back, which could be nice for a number of reasons. And I just see like, for somebody wanting to buy this and build on a house on it right now, um, they, you know, that's a big investment from the beginning. For somebody wanting to grow food on a city lot, this right now is listed for $6,000. $6,000. And I feel like with selling the old lot, even paying back the investor, which we're now talking about moving forward in a more partnership role after they're paid back, because um, uh, he's been super amazing and supportive and totally <coughs> um, in line with what First Church of Music is about. So I, I wanna look at this, $6,000 listed. I, I, you know, $5,000 cash might take it. And again, to a real estate investor, this doesn't have a whole lot of immediate potential unless they wanna put in some money. And around here with every third uh, commercial space or whatever being for lease uh, or worse, you know, this isn't the place you drop hundred thousand dollars necessarily but this is a really good opportunity and I feel like we could even put up a billboard with like sponsors you know who helped buy this property who went on it and basically install what we've been trying to install this past year of the world's first infinity garden build something so landscaped and beautiful and turnkey and and dummy proof that um, Nobody would ever come through and put a house there instead. You know, feed the neighborhood, find 20 houses that need some kind of produce and just focus on that. You know, and then, you know, after maybe another year, buy another lot or something like that. It's not uncommon to find a lot for $10,000 or so in this area, but this right here with this frontage, gosh, can't you just see it? A first church of music sign right across the front, FCOM Gardens, FCOM Farms, whatever we call it. World's first infinity garden right here and just boom, it would be amazing. So considering for the cost of a car, we can get going. Um, I think that that's really gonna be my focus. So uh, remains to be seen on when the city lot's gonna be sold back to the prior owner, but he definitely wants it back. 
uh, for family and sentimental reasons. And uh, we've talked about how much and, and it'll allow us to basically lateral for a little gain and take a first down, which I think I'm good. I'm good on, you know? We really, <laughs> from shifting to remodeling a house to and hosting a bunch of talent and doing live streaming music in the year of COVID to starting an urban ag revolution aimed at ending hunger in the area by giving half of what we grow away. And that includes from this lot or any lot. And, uh, and all that we've done, even with the overstay uh, former owners, had to wait four months for them to get out after buying it. After all of that, uh, I think we're doing okay. I think we gained a little bit. We got a first down. Boom. So here's 2021. And we have at the moment 130,000 seeds of several dozen different varieties ready to start planting pretty much right now. And the next uh, a series of videos we're going to be doing here, I'm calling the Radish Revolution. And please keep that in mind. Radish Revolution. Subscribe and like this channel because that's something we all can participate in. It's meant to be a group project uh, to everybody connected to this channel and first searching music around the country and the world, which though y'all may not know this, I do know this, are thousands of people ultimately. So let's bring up that uh, those subscribers so we can get some income in to first searching music through this YouTube. Boom, like and subscribe. Like I said, thank you so much for watching the whole of this video. We'll see you soon.